Oh, hi guys, uh, today we are talking about sensitivity labels and sensitivity label policies. So, uh, what is a sensitivity label and what a sensitivity label can do? Sensitivity labels are uh, used to add an additional layer of protection to your files, emails, teams and SharePoint. They allow you to classify documents as confidential and highly confidential labels which are applied. So, uh, what you can do with the sensitivity labels? You can configure sensitivity labels to emails, documents to prevent unauthorized people from accessing the data. You can additionally choose uh, which users or group have permissions to perform which actions and for how long so uh, we can explain the sensitivity levels in another way sensitivity levels help organizations identify and label sensitivity informations using rules and conditions information can be automatically labeled and classifications can be applied users can also manually apply sensitivity levels to their documents or emails so um, now how labels apply sensitivity documents and emails once applied classification information is identifiable regardless of where the data is stored or whom shares it so uh, this is something like uh, you need to understand uh, this labels are stored in metadata for files or emails so the labels roams with the content no matter where it is saved or stored so so the unique label identification becomes the basis for applying and enforcing policies that you configure right so now uh, license requirements you need office 365 e5 fi g5 licenses or 365 e5 fi the oh, ms uh, I, I mean g5 licenses then MS365, EFI, FI, G5, FI complaints or um, MS365, FI security and compliance license or uh, insider risk management, MS365, EFI, FI, G5 license will be compatible for sensitivity labels. So let's get started. So in order to uh, uh, go to the complaint sender, uh, we need to go to uh, compliance.microsoft.com So this is my tenant. I'm logging with the tenant over here and I'll be um, giving my password uh, for to login. Uh, what is the password now? So this is the complaint center of Microsoft. Here we will be able to do or configure the uh, mm, sensitivity labels and policies. Okay, so let's go. Here is the main window where you can see uh, home solutions. Then under solutions, you can see that catalog, outage, communication, data loss prevention. Let's go to the uh, information protection where you can see labels and labor policies, right? So click on labels where you can see uh, the tab called create a label. Click on create a label. Give a uh, friendly name here. So I'll be giving see the file email sensitivity label or you can use sensitivity label email file so tell you why I'm giving this name 
okay so Celera is my domain then sensitivity level then I'll be giving uh, I'll be configuring the sensitivity level for email and file that's the meaning of this okay so again I'm giving to you can explain whatever you want to your users no problem seem that you can explain this to your um, users or admins say so next now you are in the scope tab so here what is mentioned define the scope of this level see here it is files and emails that's enabled where you could see uh, group and size and uh, data assets preview are both are grayed out so uh, this this is for teams and shares and this is for azure data purview or the database uh, you know uh, to enable the database uh, uh, sensitive to, to configure the database in Sydney for the databases and all right so here it is group and size this is for team share points and groups etc so this this two will be uh, we can do it later later uh, after configuring this uh, sensitivity for files and emails so let's go ahead with the next so here it's asking choose protection settings for files and emails right file and email thing yes we need to encrypt the emails we need to uh, mark the content of file correct so here it's asking what do you want to do configure the encryption setting as in the permission now correct user wanted to uh, access the content express user access to the content express never uh, allow offline access you don't want to give an offline access right so okay so here you can give specific uh, you know uh, access to the users or groups who are wants to use this sensitivity level so I'll be clicking assign permission uh, clicking add users see, uh, you can see there's a very various options add users groups in your organization all users add any other indicated users uh, you can use that as well you know, specific email address or domain if you want to put it on all domain you can use it so I'll be going with the add users and groups there are some some users have created so I'll be uh, enabling it for the leap M Karen M okay and I'm adding for them over here then save so these two users are added into this sensitivity label say next now do you want to enable the content marking yes I want to enable the content marking so what are the content you want to mark I'll put a, a watermark okay so if I put in a watermark I can say this is Celera email file sensitivity label so this will be displayed right as a watermark so that's what we are doing it here or if you want to add, add a header or footer you can uh, you know add a header and footer as well but any watermark would be fine for us right now because this we are doing this are all your organization requirements so you can discuss with them do you want to add a header footer or watermark so accordingly you can add it okay so next auto labeling for the files see what he says when user edit of the files or compost replay to or forward this email so upload or content content matching the condition to your choose here will be automatically apply the label so this is something that we wanted somebody is you know if they are uh, forwarding it or not for while well, forwarding it or something this has to be applied right so for what condition to be added add a condition contains what add sensitivity info types what are the info types you want to add see there are so many things uh, these are the things is you know, which is going to decide your file email or teams communicate communication or something that is sensitive or not sensitive so you need to add uh, such you know keywords or something like that so if I say passport I have so many passports here so these are the sensitivity info types so you can add the sensitivity info type whichever, whichever you wanted so I'll be adding UK UK passport then that added then if I say Indian 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 related whatever it should be India related okay so uh, driving license GST number permanent number this 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 okay now what else you want to add you want to add credit card number 
yes if it is a security card it will be blocked so it will be you know uh, the the policy will be applied then we'll be doing a label will be applied then debit card you will be a debit card like that you can add uh, you know, a number of whatever is mentioned in situ info types okay click add so this is done so these are the things you know that we are saying okay we this uh, this comes is highly confidence instant number one to any driving license comes to this 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 is all right so what uh, when content matches these conditions what 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 do you want to do you want to automatically apply the label there are options recommend that you say supply the label but we want automatically because these are the sensitive information right so display this message uses when you, uh, so you can say that this message you can give a message here to the uses right since in the email file okay so you can give a message to users now here this again this group and size group and size is uh, for what one is for uh, teams and another one for uh, sharepoint so we haven't enabled uh, sharepoint and teams at this scope level right so we don't want to do anything that okay now say next and create the label now the label is created it will be great you'll be creating now it will be created soon okay just wait for five minutes it will be creating now mm, yeah now once the label is created uh, what 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 is the next step to do the next step is publish the label uh, to the users do you want to publish it right away or you want to create it policy later i want to create it later because i want to show you something else okay so here you can see the sensitivity level is created created by me when it is modified order zero to ist if you can make so many sensitive so uh, this is the highest number zero would be the highest so uh, so you can say that okay so now here you can publish this label here or you can go to label policies here and you can publish it so there are so many other ways you can publish that's what i wanted to show other than you know the time when we are created so i'll be publishing it here publish the label so we need to choose a sensitivity level what is he saying choose and to publish which sensitivity level to be published so we have created a sensitivity level so this is the sensitivity level click add next so here you can choose your users and where we have chosen there uh, the leave and current and then i'm choosing the same users over here say next now what is to be done policy setting this is the policy setting users must provide justification to remove label or lower is classification right so you must provide this is something that we want if they wanted to remove the label or lower the classification so we should know that right okay the uh, required users to apply label emails and documents so if they have added or they have written any of the sensitivity information that you have mentioned over there uh, they should add the emails uh, they should apply the label to that email it, it will ask them to apply it by the way okay so uh, require user label or their power if power bi is there you can use it but we don't have it so we are not using it right now provide user with the link to a custom help if you have any internet web server or something you can give a, uh, a link to the users how to use the label send out okay you can give a help um, notification to the users say next apply this uh, which label to be uh, you know able to uh, default apply default uh, um, apply this uh, default label to the documents so we this is our default uh, label say next apply default to the emails which one you want to do it so this is the default one to give you supply label to the emails so so we are giving it okay say next uh, so we are not doing it power bi so next name your policy so what name i'm going to give control sensitivity label so email file i'll say silera email file sensitivity policy you can give you know the way you want to be okay so i'm just giving for my easy understanding one is label and the one is policy so i'm doing this way say next and submit 
now your sensitivity level and sensitivity policy has been created all right this is the way how you create sensitivity level and publish sensitivity policy thank you see you next video